This tutorial explains how to position the Geom text labels in a grouped ggplot2 bar plot in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows and three columns, which are called height, group, and subgroup. And the first column is containing the values of our bars. The second group is the main group indicator. And the third column is the subgroup indicator of our bars. So if we want to draw these data in a ggplot2 bar plot, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in line six and seven of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar. So if you run lines nine to 13 of the code, you can see that a new plot object is appearing at the top right of RStudio, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a grouped bar plot using the ggplot2 package. However, you can also see that at this point, no text labels are shown on top of the bars. So usually if we would want to add text labels at the top of a bar plot, we would use the geom text function, as you can see in lines 16 and 17 of the code. And within the geom text function, we would specify that we want to show the labels at the top of each bar. However, if you run lines 16 and 17 of the code, you can see that the positioning of the labels is wrong. And this is because this time we have drawn a group bar plot instead of a regular bar plot. And for that reason, the geom text function does not know yet at which x-axis position the label should be drawn. However, we can change that by using the code that you can see in lines 19 to 21. And in line 21 of the code, I'm specifying the position argument. And the position argument is set to be equal to position dodge. And within the position dodge function, I'm specifying the width argument to be equal to one. So if you run lines 19 to 21 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated. And this time the labels are shown at the proper position at the top of each grouped bar. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.